So, let's do this. So guys, as you know, four years ago today, I actually went vegan. That was the day that I actually started my YouTube channel and was my 36th birthday. Today is January the 12th, 2020, and it's actually my 40th birthday. I want to obviously discuss everything that's obviously been going on with my health. If you haven't already seen my channel, uh, way back in June and July of 2019, I actually put up videos actually talking about how my health had declined and what my eating disorder recovery team had actually stepped in to do. And probably what they've actually done, even though I didn't realise it at the time, I was fighting against them because I believed I was what they were doing was basically harming me. Now I look back on it and they've actually saved my life guys. So if you don't know I was actually been vegan for four years and there's been an awful lot of talk online about I never done the diet right. And I, I want to put that out there guys that veganism isn't a diet but yes to be vegan you have to follow a plant based diet. So. What actually happened was in 2015 my father actually passed away from a stroke after myself and my wife actually looking after him for many many years because he had suffered long term diabetes. At that point I actually relapsed because if you don't know I suffered a long term eating disorder which actually started with the loss of my mum in 1997. I recovered for a whole 6 years from 2000 right through to 2006 before I met my wife. So it's been a long battle, I have recovered but back then I wasn't vegan. So in 2015 like I say my dad had actually passed away, I relapsed with my eating disorder and I was actually admitted to hospital with renal failure and refeeding syndrome. Refeeding syndrome is where they introduce calories to your body and your body can actually go into shock because all the salts in your body are obviously out of whack and it can cause you to have a massive heart attack which actually did happen with me. So at that point in the hospital I actually met a vegan. She actually got speaking to me, she was a dog lover just the very same way I was and I still am. I still believe that I love animals so so much and that's why I do the best I can because that's always been about what I'm out. So she actually got speaking to me about that and she related how there's no difference to, between a dog and a pig or a cow. It's just basically how we are speciesist and that kind of related a lot to me and I thought to myself I started asking her a lot of questions about how to actually go vegan. She actually recommended a lot of documentaries that you'd obviously know yourself, such as Cowspiracy and Earthlings. I went and watched them and then immediately it just hit me because I've been a slaughterhouse meat packer way back in 1997. I've seen the horrors of the, the animal agriculture industry, but what I want to obviously put out there is that not a lot of these farms that we're actually talking about, everybody's against factory farming like I say, but a lot of the local farms actually do look after the animals. I know of one especially that actually, I'm not going to mention any names because I don't want people targeting them, but they're actually a blueprint for Scottish farming, they're actually doing quite a lot to actually help and they've actually got the calves up actually weaning with their mothers right up until they're actually able to wean. So there's a lot of good things in farms out there that's actually doing a lot of help but I'd seen the worst of it like I say, there's good and bad in all walks of life guys and that's what I want to put out there and sadly in the slaughterhouse you'll just get the same, you'll get good people and you'll get bad people. I saw them abusing the animals and things like that and that was a small percentage percentage like I say and it did cause me to have PTSD because a lot of the guys in there are actually on things like heroin and alcohol to get themselves through the day but like I say there is farms out there looking after them and sadly that's the world that we live in and we're born with compassion and morals that God has given us like I say and I'm a, I'm a Christian I do believe in that and I've never ditched my Christian morals I've always stick to them and I believe in the Christian worldview but that really hit a chord with me and I come out of hospital and I decided to obviously look up the, the documentaries that she had given me and I immediately decided I've got to start looking into going vegan and then my 36th birthday in January the 12th 2016 I actually went vegan right away. I actually 
within a few months actually became the organiser of the SAVE movement here in Scotland for the Ayrshire Animal Save and obviously Anonymous for the Voiceless and Vegan Out each as well guys so I was doing an awful awful lot doing vigils, public outreach, everything I've done quite a lot over the time and I considered myself 100% always about ethics and that's always what I've been about and I never ever thought I was going to go back but the end of 2019 things started to really go downhill massively for me guys I started to suffer brain fog I just couldn't think what I was doing my wife would actually say something to me and within two minutes she says to me why have you not done that? And I, yeah, and I would be like well what are you talking about? you never said anything to me my mind was just all over the place, I was getting short term memory loss, I was getting constant migraines which I had for many many years but they were just intensified massively. It was getting to the point I just couldn't function properly most of the day, it would get to the point where mid afternoon I was just absolutely had to go to my bed, I just couldn't function any longer. I was going to bed at like 5 o'clock at night and things were just absolutely terrible for me. I was getting constant mouth ulcers as well. There was every time I chewed on something I was getting blood coming out of my mouth, my mouth was absolutely agony. I had lost a libido, I was losing weight rapidly as well, even despite having over 3000 calories. And that's what I want to tell people, there's, there's a few channels that I'll not mention any names because I don't want to give them any publicity, but they actually said that they'd seen all my meals on Instagram and their exact words were that I had seemed to be eating a good whole foods plant based diet and that they, they just thought I was getting rid of the food. I mean, ludicrous to say the least. Do you think I'm that rich that I can actually do, afford to get rid of food? Absolutely not, guys. Everything I actually ate, I, I had on my Instagram, I actually ate. My wife can actually confirm that as well. But, so yeah, I had, I had a lot of health problems going downhill massively, and like I say, I was just really, really feeling absolutely terrible. I was going to the gym and I've been an athlete all my life as a semi-professional footballer and I've, I'm actually a personal trainer as well and I actually qualified to be a nutritionist recently as well. So I know, I, I, like I say, I do believe that there is people out there that can do a whole foods plant-based diet, vegan diet, I would say, and be healthy. But for most of us, it's just not possible, guys. And the thing that gets me is the the way that we're, we're attacked. Basically, you're treated as if you're an apostate. Basically, as if you've left some religion. All the people that actually said that they were your friends suddenly shun you. There's a lot of lovely vegans out there, and to all you guys that have supported me, I love you so so much, and I support you as well. But like I say, there's a lot of them just turned against you. It's absolutely disgusting, guys, and it's the same what happens in many many religions, unfortunately. And that's that's I think that's why a lot of people really veganism to be in a religion because you're treated the exact same way when the diet doesn't work for you even though you've tried everything that you've done everything as they say I went to Goji Man as well I got tests done for SIBO as you can always remember it got to the point obviously I didn't have SIBO he didn't actually know what was going on I was sending him back and forth emails to him and he, he, was, he said he was sending me back emails but there was some kind of connection in between us he wasn't getting emails I was sending him, I wasn't getting emails he was sending me and one of my friends actually reached out to him and they actually asked him what was going on and he basically said that he thought my eating disorder recovery team were in best place to actually get me back in an even keel as well guys. So like I say, my eating disorder recovery team actually saved my life and it was really really hard for me to actually get to the point of realising what I actually needed to do because I was struggling even eating an egg and like I say at the moment what I'm actually doing is I'm actually eating fish, eggs, dairy yogurts and cheese so the rest of my diet is made up in plant based foods and like I say I relate so so much to the, the vegan views as well because I'm all about the animals and I try my best to do my part out with the actual dietary side of things because like I say I really do not believe that it's healthy for quite a lot of people to be honest like I say and some of the people out there I actually think they're actually in denial as well guys because I was as well and if it wasn't for a good few people out there who actually helped me when I was actually struggling to make the shift because I didn't believe when my disorder recovery team had actually made me to actually change my diet that it, I, I believed it wasn't going to work that was what was in my mind I just thought to myself well I'm, if you are forcing me to do it I'll do it but I know it's not going to work and then I was shocked how actually quick things actually changed like I say my digestion when I was a vegan was absolutely terrible 
I was actually going to the toilet up until about 12 times a day. I was passing blood every single time, severe bloating, pain down my back. It was as if somebody had actually stabbed me right in the back with a, a deep dagger. That's how bad it was. It's got to the point now, like I say, I'm actually, my, di my digestion and things, I'm not on perfect point, they're not optimal I would say, but they're far far better. My brain fog is reversed, my memory loss is reversed, I've got no migraines, I'm actually putting on weight, I've got no mouth ulcers, like I say, everything's actually improved massively. I'm at the gym, I'm actually constantly progressing week on week, I'm getting stronger, I'm getting fitter, I'm feeling the best I've felt in years guys and that's absolute truth. Like I say, what I was actually doing, I was taking everything that you actually need to take as a vegan. I was actually taking probiotics, I was taking the vegan, vegan Amigas as well, and I was actually supplementing with B12. So i done everything like they actually say, but still things were just declining for me massively. It's basically, I think the middle ground is the best, and what's possible to impracticable to one person is not going to be possible and practicable to another. And that's one thing I want to put out there. Veganism always seemed to me to be subjective, and the, for philosophy to obviously be objective morally, it has to be without flaws. Like I say, comparing factory farms to fa local farms who actually do take care of their animals, taking the ethical side of it away at the actual killing, sadly that's going to happen, but I would rather they live out their life being looked after than actually in these factory farms and things like that, guys. Like I say, my message really is that you need to look after yourself before you can look after anyone and that's been congruent all the way through my veganism as well guys. That's a really really important thing. Like I say, you've got to be able to look after yourself. It's all well getting good actually preaching compassion but compassion actually starts with yourself as well guys. Like I say, the big shift actually came when I realised that I had to do it to actually be able to look after my wife and my animals as well guys because they depend on me and for me not to look after myself how am I supposed to look after anybody else my health declined massively physically and mentally I was constantly depressed, anxious, taking it out on my wife that's all reversed, I feel the best I've ever been. The very strange thing guys was that all my blood tests could always used to come back normal apart from my calcium which always used to seem to be low. But what I want to put out there is I just won't destroy myself anymore to please other people and I think that's what it's really all this online hate is all about. It's all about them attacking you when they don't even know anything about you, how you, you actually live your life. They don't stay with you 24-7. They're not my wife. They're not my family. They're not my friends. And my real family and friends that genuinely care about me, they couldn't care what I eat. All they care about is seeing me healthy, not only surviving but thriving. They seen me at my very, very worst. They seen me suffering despite everything I was doing. But a lot of people have obviously attacked me and that's fine. Like I say, if you want to attack me, do that. That only shows a reflection of you because I'm a physically, mentally and the best I've ever been in years. And I really don't care what you say. Like I say, it doesn't bother me anymore. Like I say, do you really think that you attacking people is really going to change anything? All it's going to do is push people away and that's exactly what he's actually doing. Like I say, he's attacked people. That's no compassion. I genuinely care about people and animals, but I'm not going to destroy myself. I've got a lot of things I want to achieve and I can only do that by actually being healthy and fit as well. But sorry if you see me looking down, I've actually just got everything written on there. Like I say, it's, the thing that always bothered me more than anything was the way they used to attack people when I was doing vegan activism. You used to get attacking farmers, people on the streets, calling them murderers and rapists and things like that. That never ever aligned with me guys. It just absolutely disgusted me because at the end of the day, I've always said it, on my YouTube channel, it's always been really congruent that I've always said just because you're vegan doesn't make you a good person and just because you're non-vegan doesn't make you a bad person and that's that's really important to get out there guys because there's bad people in all walks of life. Like I say, I'm continuing to gain weight, it's both strength physically and mentally as well. I'm going to the gym and things are actually improving massively. Like I say, a lot of people have done said a lot of things like, oh, it was over exercise and things like that. Well, I'm doing the very same fact, the exact same amount of exercise that I was doing before, eating the same amount of calories, and look at me now. 
I'm improved massively physically and mentally. I'm not stuck in a toilet for nearly 12 hours a day. Not waking up in the morning wishing that I was dead because I was living in a non-vegan world and just stressed beyond belief. It's hard to explain unless you're in that mindset. You're just in this deep, deep depression and I just I just lost myself massively. Like I say, I want to help animals and I'll keep doing my best I can, but that's all I can do and that's all any of can do because you've got to look after your health. If it's working for you, like I say, keep doing it. Like I say, the, the reason why I stepped back from YouTube and I haven't been on here for quite a while is because I wanted to make sure what was actually getting prescribed to me was the right thing. And thanks to a lot of non-vegan YouTube channels out there, you know who you guys are. You actually helped me massively because I was struggling and I just couldn't even eat an egg and I was, because of the ethical reasons, and you guys actually, you cleared me of that, <laughs> that mindset that I was in because it's, it's really, really hard guys it really is you've got to be in that type of mindset to understand just how bad it is like I say I endured an awful lot of different health issues and they've all actually they've all kind of they've all got a lot lot better and that's what I want to put out there guys like I say I just wanted to make sure what I was actually doing was the best thing for my health physically and mentally and it took a good few months like I say it didn't happen overnight but within a month I felt massively better the introduction of fish actually cured all my the mental issues that I had going on the brain fog the memory loss the depression everything cleared massively quick and like I say if you guys are suffering I would ask you to look at yourself and really ask yourself is this working for you and don't be ashamed to make the change because I actually know some ex-vegans who were vegan activists and they've not actually spoke out yet because they're scared of the backlash, the hate and everything they'll get. But guys, they don't care about you. They don't care about your health. They're not the ones that actually love you. They're not your family. They're not your friends. They're not your partner. So do what's best for you. That's all you can do. Like I say, you've only got one life and nobody's coming to save you apart from you. Going forward, it's just about doing my best, like I say. <sighs> I don't obviously partake in things that fit, it's tested on animals. All my toiletries and everything like that are all cruelty free. I don't obviously wear anything that's tested on animals as well. Uh, sorry, made from animals. So I'm doing my very best as long as looking after my health because I believe for me and quite a lot of other people, which is clearly obvious, like I say, you look at all the ex-vegans, to, to say that everybody's lying is absolutely foolish guys because like I say what works for one person doesn't work for another and it's about doing your best because at the end of the day nobody's going to be here to save you apart from yourself and at the end of the day they, nobody really cares they'll all attack you at the end of the day if it doesn't work for you you did it wrong and I can understand why they do that because we were all in that exact same mindset but to those people that said that to all the ex-vegans out there and to myself I can understand where you're coming from because I've been where you are right now but you haven't been where I am yet and God forbid saying that so going forward, like I say, it's just doing my absolute best, guys. Thank you for everyone that's given me all the love and support. It means the world. And for anybody that comments on this video giving me hate, I really don't care anymore because I know the truth. What I'm doing is actually helping me and I'm doing my very, very best. Like I say, looking after animals and loving for animals is not exclusive to vegans. I know plenty of people that actually care so, so much about animals and they aren't vegan and they do more than most vegans do. Like I say, it's got to the point now, it's all, it's all about attacking people and it's all about this social media presence and things like that. And I think that's quite a lot to do with it as well, guys, but I can understand where they're all coming from. But like I say, to anybody listening to this, I'm sorry for the way I treated people in the past. Like I say, I think I come across as being a bit of an asshole, to be honest. And to them, I'm sorry because I've got to admit I was wrong. And that's, that's hard for me to take, but it's the absolute truth. And like I say, it's about doing your very, very best to minimise suffering and obviously to help the, the, the environment and obviously your health as well. Because without your health, none of that can be done as well, guys. 
Thank you all and remember as always, binge on life, pause negativity and starve guilty feelings and please subscribe and support the channel, it would mean the world. I hope to do a lot on this channel. Going forward I'll be talking a lot about eating disorder recovery, I'll be doing a lot obviously interviewing people on different things as well. There's a lot lined up, I don't want to give too much away but thank you all if you've got through this video, <laughs> it means a lot because it's been really hard for me to make, I really must stress that. It's trying to put my words into, my, my thought, my, basically my, my thoughts into words, that's what I'm trying to say. It's really, really hard for me to get across that because quite a lot of the time in the past, even the brain fog itself and actually being able to set, put certain pieces together were extremely, extremely hard. I hope I've come across really well. I hope that you can see that I've actually improved massively. And thank you all. Much love always and speak to you all soon.